Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's DIY video, we're gonna share with you how to use curved text in Design Space. It is a super easy thing to do, and I'm so glad that they've brought it all the way into Design Space so we're not having to use any extra programs. Let me share with you how to make this fun DIY pillow. So this is the exact design that we're going to make today in our project, and I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how to do it. So to get started, let's go over to Upload, and we're using one of our files from makersgonnalearn.com, and we're going to find it right here in our recently uploaded. You could organize these to be able to go ahead and search for it if you would like. And we found it, so we're just gonna click on that and click Insert Image. So right here we have the rise and shine image and what we're going to do is we're simply going to click contour and we're going to click on the images rise and shine just so we take that away because we just want to use the sun. So all you do to contour is you just click on it and you see it kind of disappear a little. Once you're completed, you can just press the X and now you can see we just have the sun right here. So all we want to do is now we can start designing with our text. So now we want to go over to the left hand sidebar and select text. And then we're going to type in wake up. And I've already selected quirky script for my font today. Um, this is one I really love to use and we've used it all of the time. So it's one really simple. We're going to get our letter spacing down and I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in so we can manipulate this a little better. Okay, so let's bring letter space down. And just like so, we're happy with that. And then what we're going to do is go over to Curve. All we have to do is click Curve, and we just want to change the diameter. Just like so, it's super easy. Either way you want to do it, look at that. I love this. So what we're going to do now, whoa, that's a little much. Okay, so we're going to just give it a slight curve, and then we're going to zoom out and we're gonna curve it right with our sun. So we're gonna make it a little larger. And then as you can see here, we can curve that just to see if we wanna curve it any more, any less. Just like so. And notice how we're going to have to change the letter spacing again due to um, the curvature. So as you can see here, you would need to go bring that in a little bit more. So just like so, it has been able to create a, a nice little curve and it works with your project really well. So it's that easy to be able to use curve in the text tool in Cricut Design Space. So then we're going to just write in sunshine just like so. And then again, we're going to bring that letter spacing down. And then enlarge that. And then sometimes you may have some places, if for some reason your font doesn't work as well as ours with letter spacing, you're gonna to want to click advanced and ungroup to letters. That's going to allow you to select a few images or letters and be able to manipulate those a little bit better. Um, and then once you're done kerning your images, you can just select all of those again and click group. Just like so, we have our wake up sunshine design and this is one we already created, so we can just select this one and delete it. And now we have our Wake Up Sunshine design. Once you're ready to go with this, um, you can just weld it together and you have an awesome design ready to put on a pillow. The size that you'd like for your pillow, all we're gonna do is click Make It. And since we're using Iron-On, we're going to select Mirror. So we've mirrored our image, and then we're going to select Continue. Okay, so now we're going to connect to our Cricut Maker via Bluetooth. And 
And now we're going to select our material as iron-on and it's going to tell us to load in our fine point blade which we already have and then we're going to go ahead and take our iron-on and cut it to size and apply it shiny shine down onto our mat. So all we're going to do is open this up and trim this down to about 10 inches. Now that you have your sheet of iron on, we're just going to apply it shiny side down. So for this, we're just going to apply this straight down just like so. And once it's on the mat, all we're going to do is take it and load it in. And this is the exact reason why we mirrored our image. Once you're ready to go, let's turn fast mode on and press the flashing cricket button. Once it's cut, all you want to do is unload it. And now we're going to grab our weeding tool and we're just going to simply weed it. So we've weeded our image and we have our easy press mat. We're gonna take our pillowcase and position it right in the middle of our pillow. Okay, so we've laid our pillowcase onto our easy press mat and now we're going to lay down our design that we made in Cricut Design Space. And just position it in the center of our pillow. So I've preheated my easy press to 305 for 30 seconds and all we're going to do is take it and press the button and heat it for 30 seconds. You want to make sure to give evenly distributed pressure. Now you're going to lift up and for safety measures, if you would like, you're able to turn it over and hit the back for maybe five seconds. But with the easy press mat, you probably will not have to. And just like that, we're going to let it cool and then peel it away. Now we've got our iron-on design and what we're going to do is insert our pillow. And just like that we have a really fun pillow. I loved going over curved text with you guys and we even were able to jump in on how to contour. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and as always be sure to check us out at makersgonnalearn.com for the die cutting files and a ton more inspiration. Thanks for watching. Bye!